Chief. Chief. Where are you? Chief? Oh. Oh my goodness, there you are. Hold on, I'll get this debris off of you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Chief, you're wounded. Horribly. Hold on. Uh, I wish I was a medic. But I'm not. Do you think you can hold out until the others arrive? Please, Chief. I'm begging you. Good, good. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Keep your eyes open. That's it. Look at me. It's me. It's Jodine. You know, the prisoner you caught <laughs> during the prison riot? Yeah, that's me. I was with Hecatai and Haler, remember? You gave me a really good whack to the head, but I respect you for that. I want you to stay awake, Chief. Please. Right now, we're in the middle of a war zone, and I can't find the other two. Can you move? Stand or walk? No. Oh, sh shoot! Speaking of shoot, hold on. Okay. I'm gonna... Oh, should I move them? Should I not? How do you do this? I'm not Iron or Anne. Ugh. Chief. No, 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 no. You keep awake. Chief, please keep awake. Hey. Keep awake. There we go. What do we do? Who do we wait for? Do we even wait? Or do I move you now? What's your order? Defend you. Yeah. I can do that. And then once this chaos is over, we'll find Ian and Anne and get you out of here. Man, Nightingale is going to kill me. <laughs> I had one job, and that was to keep you safe. And I failed at that. What happened? We were investigating some stuff, remember? Yeah. Ted and that little girl. You offered your help to her, but... She became a monster. In the end, we had to... We had to put a stop to her. It sucks. I know it does. I wish we could save everyone. But sometimes we can't. When you were talking to her, that silver-haired girl, I saw the hope return to her eyes. And just for a moment, my hope returned too. I may just be some sinner, but in the end, you're my captain, well, you're my, you're my chief my captain, my leader, someone who's stopping me from going on the bridge of insanity. <laughs> Why that smile? <laughs> yeah, I know, when we first met, I was violent. But to be honest, I lost all of my hope. The only thing that remained was, well, you know. Us going crazy like this, it's a challenge. 
I'm just glad you were here to slap me back into reality. So I can't lose you now. And god damn it, heaven forbid, if you die on me now, I am crawling up to heaven and yanking you back down and beating your ass. Do you understand? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> yeah, I care. The big meanie that doesn't really show emotion is... Letting it all run like a faucet. And if you tell anyone about this... Can we just keep it between us? I don't like showing emotion, but... I do feel things for you. Respect. Hope. And a bit of love, too. You're one of the only chiefs that at the start actually asked me for my name. The others just ran by me through prison numbers and forced me to do stuff for them. Yeah, why do you think I grew so violent? True. Losing my whole platoon and my family would have done that to anyone as well. You're keeping me grounded, okay? <laughs> yeah. Hold on, more hostiles inbound. Once this is over, I'm definitely, definitely taking you out somewhere nice. If I'm not locked up, like we normally all are, and if I can get permission from Miss Nightingale. It's probably not gonna happen, but hey, you have to owe me big time for this. You hear? So don't go dying on me. Okay? Okay. I'll be back. Well, I won't go far. Just so I know that none of these chaotic individuals get near you. And you try focusing on staying awake. Please. I can't lose another family member. I can't lose another person I care about. And I certainly will not let Ted get away with this. He will pay for what he did to that girl. What he made her become. But for now, my main priority is you, and finding the others. You keep alive, you hear me. Don't die. I don't want to lose the only chief that gave me respect for being a person. Considering I am a sinner. <laughs>